Welcome back to the vlog. So today I want to vent a little bit and I want to get your opinion on something. Just yesterday, Adobe announced that Creative Suite is history, right? That's it, done. Now as a point of reference, um, Many machines in this studio run on Creative Suite. So we've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of thousands of dollars on Creative Suites over the years. So I do have affinity for having something and owning it. I am not a person that leases cars. Um, I try to keep the monthly um, amount of automatic uh, removal of money out of the account to a bare minimum. I absolutely hate that. I like to just buy something when we have funds for it and call it a day and that's it. Not pay perpetually forever, right? I just don't like it. So I haven't been a fan of Adobe's Creative Cloud and I've made that very clear to you guys over the, uh, the course of the last few years. Now, things might be changing, I don't know, but I want your guys' opinion. I want to know how you feel about it. So now that Creative Cloud is it. That's what you have, that is all, no more Creative Suite. Um, what do we do? You know, is there is there alternatives? And there is alternatives. now. The way I look at this is how much do you pay for the package in comparison to how much you pay perpetually over years? And a lot of folks have um, talked about, I think it was CNET and a couple other guys were talking about um, how it's such a great deal. And if you look at a three year window, you actually save 50 or 60% by going Creative Cloud in comparison to buying the suite outright, which is absolutely case. It is the case. but. Not everyone buys software every three years and, you know, gets the newest, latest and greatest. The same thing with cameras, right? Some people use cameras that are five, 10 years old. Some people use cameras that are 20 years old and they're happy with them and they don't want to pay continuously for new, 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 new. It might not be a necessity to them. If you do very small amounts of photo editing, you know, CS4 is probably all that you need, right? Maybe even CS3, right? You don't need CS6 and now, you know, Creative Cloud, you don't need it, right? So the idea of paying forever is always an issue. And like I said, for me, I'm not one to lease those cars. I like to buy it. When I have money for something, I buy it, I own it, and that's it. Now, is there alternatives? Yes. You know, in the line of, for example, Photoshop, you do have, for example, Pixelmator, you have Affinity, um, photo, which is doing a really good job right now. And you have a free package called GIMP, um, which will work. All three of those will basically do what Photoshop does today. And you don't have to pay forever. It's not a license. One of them is even free. Now, in regards to Lightroom, well, you have like, for example, Aftershot. I've been doing a few videos on that because you guys have been asking for it. Um, you have DxO um, Optics, you have Darktable, you have uh, Capture One. Uh, that's really big also right now. Um, so there is alternatives when it comes to Lightroom that you can actually buy and own. And there's also, as I've said, some free ones that are out there. So you can get away with not going down that Creative Cloud um, space. Now, when things get a little bit iffy here is when it comes to raw photos. What do you do when you can no longer get that camera raw, okay, built into your software? What do you do? Do you have to get camera raw and convert, let's say, your brand new camera that you just bought this week, right? Convert those uh, raw uh, files to like DNGs and then edit them after and do this whole convoluted kind of mess? Um, well, the answer to that is yes, if you don't go Creative Cloud, because you're not going to get updates anymore when it comes to Camera Raw, right? Um, the other side of it is you can use a software, for example, like On One a Photo Raw. They do Camera Raw, right? You could also use Aftershot. I spoke to them over at Corel. They said they are going to forever um, perpetually add in camera profiles. So when a new camera profile comes out, they're going to add it in. So you'll be able to still work on your images without having to convert them, for example, to DNGs. So that's good. Now, the easiest thing to do, of course, is just to give in and say, listen, I'm going to pay your $9.99 a month, or I'm going to pay your $49.99 a month if you want to get the full blown package, your 50 bucks a month and call it a day and always have the latest and greatest. The thing is, is a lot of people, they don't need all that. 
they need one program or two programs and that's it. Now you can kind of piecemeal them together also and pay more, but most people will say, you know what, for $50, let's just go down that route and start paying $50, $50, $50 at nauseam forever, you know, $600 a year or whatever it comes to continuously forever. I want to kind of ask you guys, what do you think and what do you use? Are you in the creative cloud model? What do you think about it? Do you feel that possible? Possibly by, let's say, Adobe getting everyone into Creative Cloud, maybe that will stifle um, their, let's say, creativity, you know, pardon the pun, because now there's no reason for them to come out with the next best, greatest thing to have you convert, you know, from CS4 to CS5, from CS5 to CS6, and so on and so forth right? Maybe that will stifle a little bit of creativity once they get everyone on board and they can just basically fall asleep behind the wheel and throw it on autopilot and just keep getting that money in. What do you guys think about it? And like I said, what do you use? That is the question I kind of want to know. And Everyone else in the community wants to know also. Also, if you're using one of these alternative packages like a GIMP or an Aftershot or an On One or whatever, do you want some type of help with it, right? Would you like me to do some, let's say, how to's, um, tips, tricks on these pieces of software? If you do, also put that into the comments. So in the comments put, if you want any type of help with any of the different pieces of software, if you have any questions about the different pieces of software, and also what do you currently use? And finally, what do you think about Adobe getting rid of Creative Suite altogether and making us go with Creative Cloud? So that's it guys for today. A little bit of a rant, but I just wanted to know what you guys thought about it if you like the content. As always, throw me a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That will really help me out a lot. And you'll get my rants as they come out immediately. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find a lot of photography tools and things that I've created for you, photographers, that might be helpful in your business. So that's it, guys. Once again, I am out of here for yet another vlog. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.